You might remember Shane Ferguson from a story we did on him this year. He's the man who gave a family of five who flipped their car in a Gerard Lake a new van. It happened back in January. The wife was driving her five children when she lost control and crashed into Gerard Lake. Look at this car. Strangers stopped and rescued the family, grabbing them one by one from the wreckage. Shane Ferguson helped the families a few days later. And as 27 First News reporter Noah Daniels Wilder reports, now he's the one who needs help. I'm used to being out working every day, not sitting around. A man known to help people in their dark times is now in dark times of his own. I went to the hospital thinking I had the, the flu or pneumonia, and uh, it turned out that it was uh, vegetation growth on the uh, valve of the heart. Doctors believe it started from something simple. They believe it was an infected tooth. That infected tooth caused cesspit, staph, and MRSA, which all led to a valve on his heart to leak. So I'd have an open heart surgery. But that didn't completely stop the leaking, which means Ferguson might have to get another heart surgery. Doctors are skeptical about doing the surgery because of something else they found. They had a major <coughs> leak on the main artery of the kidney that uh, they were worried about, so they didn't want to do the surgery with that happening also. With bills piling up and Ferguson unable to work, Today, it was his turn to have the same feeling he's been giving to others all his life. Today, we're having a benefit for Shane Ferguson. Full of raffles, food, and surrounded by love. Love you, bro. Love you, Uncle Everybody had a wonderful story to say, yep. you know, or something good that he'd done, and they just wanted to pay it forward. It's my family and friends coming together and showing all the love and support for me. It's what keeps Ferguson fighting. In Youngstown, Noah Daniels Water, WKBN 27 First News.